Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now this is another video on magnetic circuits and here I will be solving end chapter problem 1.13 from Mr. Chapman's book. Now before we solve the actual uh, question, just a point about magnetic field intensity. There is no parallel uh, example I can find in the electricity of the intensity it could be electric field intensity which is equally confusing but one point you can keep in mind that the magnetic field intensity h is defined by the force magnetomotive force that is being produced by the current here divided by the distance so if we are trying to find the magnetic field intensity here h1 then the this uh, magnetomotive force will be divided by this length L. Similarly, if you want to find it here, it will be divided by this new length. Let's call that L1. Okay, this is the question and it's a long question, so I will not go uh, one by one. But, uh, rather, we will uh, uh, discuss as we go along. So, the first part, part number A, is what current is required to produce a flux density of 0 0.5 tesla in the central leg of the core now this is the core this is central leg and this is left leg and this is a right leg and in the uh, solution manual he is also he is calling this as outer legs so we will follow that Now the first point is that the magnetomotive force produced here can be found by n multiplied by i. So n is the number of turns and i is the current. And if we don't know the current then we can find i by total magnetomotive force divided by number of turns. So we'll adopt this approach to find current here. So for that we have to need or we have to find the uh, total magnetomotive force. Now from Ampere's law we have another formula which is combining we get this result that the magnetic field intensity multiplied by the distance is equal to the magnetomotive force and it is also equal to n times i. So we will use this relation actually as we go along. When we draw an equivalent electrical circuit, then you can see this is the line, center line. We have a source here and we have a resistance or reluctance of the center line. We will have a reluctance of the left hand side or outer line and we will have a reluctance of the right hand side or also outer line. Now since from here both left and right are symmetrical same di dimensions, Therefore, the, both the reluctances will be same. So, our outer or our left will be equal to our right. And for our understanding, what I will do is I will bring all the two resistances on one side and the source and the resistance on this side. Just taking here, we get the circuit. So, we will be working with the circuit. Okay, so we were here. Now, let's do a comparison with the electrical equivalent circuit. If we have an electrical source and we will have a voltage drop obviously across this, so let's call this as V center. And then since these two are in parallel, we'll have the same voltage drop across both. So let's call this voltage drop as V out. Now from KVL we can write that E is equal to V center plus V out. So V center plus V out. Okay, now this is what is being followed uh, in this example in terms of MMF. So the total force will be the center force, center magnetomotive force and outer force. So when, when uh, uh, sorry, this is the center magnetomotive force and the force here will be the outer force. And as we have just learned that 
from here hlc can be written as the force so for the center we we'll write h center multiplied by l center and for the outer we we'll write h outer multiplied by l outer for this portion okay now we can calculate h center from the graph if we know the b center so let's see the graph this is the graph between b and h now in our case b or the uh, flux density is given to be 0.5 tesla i'll prefer to call it webers per meter square because this gives a clear concept that it is the flux per uh, unit area okay anyway for 0.5 b, b we get h is equal to 70 so we write that so h center is 70 and now we will try to find h outer now what is the b outer in case of a uh, these two now just keep in mind the current distribution current i is equally dividing here similarly the flux in magnetic circuit will be equally dividing in the two arms and since these two are symmetrical therefore the flux will equally divide so flux will be half of this so in the outer flux is equally divided into the two outer symmetrical arms therefore b outer will be 0.5 divided by 2 that is 0.25 okay now for this also we have to find h so for 0.25 our h will be 50 Okay, so h outer is 50. Now that we have found the two h's, these two h's we have found. Now to find the total, uh, we need to find the length, central length, and the outer length. So let's go to the diagram. The central length is 24 centimeter. You can see from here 16, half of it 4, 20, half of it 4, 24. So this is 24, and similarly you can calculate this half of 4, then 16, half of 4. Similarly here, and similarly here, and the total will be 72 centimeter. Now we'll convert them into meter in for applying here. So in this formula, 70. Ampere times per meter divided by the distance is 0.24 meter. 24 centimeter will be 0.24 meter. Similarly, the outer is 50, and L outer is 72 centimeter or 0.72 meter. And so, the total flux is 5. Uh, sorry, total magnetomotive force is 52.8. Now the total magnetomotive force is being generated by this coil, and therefore we can find the current by using this formula. I is the total by n, so 528 amperes turn divided by 400 turns. This is 400 turns, so the answer will be 0.13 ampere. So this is the answer of the first part. Now we go to the second part. and the current what is the current required to produce a flux density of 1 tesla and the previous one it was 0.5 tesla now it is 1 tesla uh, and we only need to find in the central leg okay so 1 in the central core uh, will become half in the outer or the other legs so if this is 1 here it will be half of it on the outer arms and so for one we find h which is i think 160 and for 0.5 we find h which is 70 okay so here also we'll exactly follow the same technique h central l central H outer, I outer, now central is 160. We'll use from here, and the distance remains same. For outer, we'll use this 
and the distance is 0 0.72 so this is the uh, f total and from here again using the same formula i is a uh, phi total over n sorry this should be f total over n so f total over n so this is uh, the current now there is another part of the question is it twice the current in part a no part a current was 0 0.13 and in part B the current is 0 0.22 although the flux density has been doubled in part A the flux density was 0 0.5 now the flux density is doubled but the current didn't double so our answer will be the current is not twice the current in part A now we come to the third part of the question what are the reluctances of the center and right legs of the core under condition of part A. Now we know that resistance in case of electricity is given by V over I. Similarly, the reluctance in case of a magnetic magnetomotive force will be reluctance is force which is equal to voltage MMF divided by a phi which is equal to I. So we will follow this formula. Now, for the, we have to find for the central and for the right leg. So, our central will use this formula. And for part A, we had calculated this. So, this is F center. That means this, this term is F center. So, we will use that. But we don't know phi. So, phi we have to find out. The formula for phi is B into A. So we'll use that phi central is B into A, B is 0 0.5 given in the question and A is the area of cross section. Now if you look this is 8 and the depth it is 8. So 8 centimeter by 8 centimeter when convert into a meter it will be 0 0.08 meter multiplied by 0 0.08 meter. So this is our flux central. Now we can use this formula. So F central from here and phi central from here. So this is the reluctance uh, of the central arm. And now for the right arm, we have the F outer here. The only thing we need to find is phi outer. Now phi outer, if you see, just like here, you, you can notice that if current can, will be divided if it was an electrical circuit same way the flux will be equally divided on both sides therefore flux on the right hand side or the left hand side will be half of the total flux so our right will be f right divided by a phi right f right we are it writing from here and for phi we just divide this by 2 and so our answer will be 22.5 kilo ampere turns per Weber. So this is our part C. Let's go to part C. We have to find again the same reluctances but in case of a part B where the uh, B or the flux density was 1. We will follow same techniques. For part B we had calculated these. And phi central will be B into A, B in this case is 1, area remains same, so this is our phi central, so plug in N, R central for part B will be 6.0 kilo ampere turns per weapon. And for right, we will just need to uh, use this part and divide this to get phi right. So R right is F right which we are getting from here and phi right is half of this so 0 0.032 so this is our R right and now the last part what conclusion can you make about the reluctance in the real magnetic core now let's get all the data of the reluctances that we have calculated 
for part A central value was this one right was this for part B central value was this and right was this now what was the difference here the uh, flux density was 0 0.5 and here the flux density was 1 so when you change the flux density the reluctance is, is uh, changing and therefore our conclusion will be the reluctance in the real, real magnetic core are not constant so i hope you have been able to follow this please let me know through your comments Thank you.